you have to implement a stack using array and you have to implement all its functionality okay and if you are appearing for an interview or preparing for any company just like tcs infosys capgemini it doesn't matter like you are appearing for any company i'm just taking example of these company right this question is very 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 important for you you have to just look at it once okay so uh, basically we have a predefined class in java right for a stack but they don't want to use a predefined class you have to use an array uh, in this array you have to implement all this functionality okay so but you have to take a help of array class and what is the array uh, is just like a homogeneous uh, data type fixed data type and what is stack is it's following a property of like first and last order so let's see how we will implement it let me make you understand the code okay so if, if you can check here i just declare one private method and top why i take a top because if anything is not present in a stack it is always pointing to the minus one so we will get to know there is no element in a stack okay and this is an initial capacity so this initial capacity why i am taking it let's suppose i am taking an input from the user so if user doesn't enter anything right any initial capacity but i want to something to initialize my array right so i will taking this initial capacity if user doesn't enter anything then it should be my default capacity so here i just took up one initial uh, capacity here inside a stack uh, like constructor so this is my predefined or we will say like default constructor without any parameter okay so from this i will be calling my parametric constructor and this parametric constructor what is doing you just call this from here line number 23 to 26 right it is check if you entered capacity is minus one then it will say please enter the capacity okay it will not execute a program further and if you enter the capacity then it will say okay just initialize my array whatever the capacity you have entered okay so if you don't want to call this is uh, this uh, constructor with the that parameter constructor just directly call this one right without any parameter so it will use this default capacity uh, now you understand right why i am taking this default ca uh, initial capacity okay now we have to implement all these methods so first let me introduce you to the size method so always whenever you are having your uh, uh, stack we will uh, returning a top plus one why because i am initializing a top to the minus one so whatever the size is it will always equal to the top plus one okay because as an array right what is the length if you are using array dot length it will always return to the plus one because length is calculating into the one uh, like from starting from one not zero so that's the top plus one now again another method we are using a push method here so if, again you are checking like if your size equal equals to data length right like if your size is equal to data length you will say stack is full now i can't enter anything and you do not uh, move a code further if size is less than you just first this is very very important point point to be noted here okay important point this is very important if you just swipe these two lines like this line 40 you have placed on 39 and 39 you placed on like 40 then your code will not run okay so you have to first do top plus one because if you write directly top this dot top and data so there is no minus one index in an array right so it will say like minus one index is not available what are you trying to insert here so that's why first increase a top then insert a value okay now understand it and again pop you will say if size equal equals to zero stack is empty and just take out the current character right from the top on the very first value of an array and we can say stack okay and this dot top you just make it zero and this is not a mandatory point you can make it zero or not make it zero the basic uh, difference we are making it like for pop method we are just decreasing a top value okay if we not deleted we are just say okay this is my top value okay or we are just clear, creating a hello solution from here right because element is present there if we not make it zero so we will say top minus minus one okay if someone is accessing this then we can access that okay element so we said top minus minus one and removing this rm okay now what is the top element this is also one method if we are again checking is size equal equals to zero then uh, okay return stack is empty otherwise uh, just say top okay uh, return this method basically this method and uh, this uh, pop method and top method is equals uh i can accept this two uh instructions okay because in top method i don't want to remove my method in display this is very simple method just check and say stack is empty otherwise just use a for loop to traverse array from that one property and what is that property is like first in first out right so you will say here i'm just 
taking element from top of the stack and from till zero and here you are just printing it so let me uh, show the demo to you i just creating an element with using uh, creating a stack with using a parametric constructor okay and i am just pushing a five element here and displaying at each time so if you run this so you will be getting a proper output okay you will say zero first zero for one two one zero three two one four five because i am just executing it until four okay again now if i want to insert a element as as index text okay so let's check once again if it is executing okay so it will throw an error that is stack is fine okay now fine my method is working fine let me comment it now check the pop button okay because i haven't insert anything right i just want to pop because it will throw error i want to check my method there is nothing element in a, inside my stack so how could it pop? so if a stack is empty so i am not uh, able to pop it display we have checked okay and what is let me check your uh, stack top method top, give me the top method okay and run a client so after displaying it it will give you the top method right that will be a four okay and it is saying stack is empty why it's saying stack is empty uh, i already say push inside a method and it will say let me check in front of you why it's saying stack is empty okay mm we will go here we will push an element and we will display it right and let me run it again we'll check again it's saying stack okay here it's throwing an error my bad okay so let me run the code okay so as you can check here the four is your top element and it is displaying all the element one by one previously we are just uh, not commented this method so it's throwing error here because it's there is nothing in element why we are popping it right so i hope you uh, learn something new from this video or this video will help you for you if you want to just uh, me to make some other videos or more videos like this just comment it down and like this video do subscribe i will see you in some other videos with some other topics till then take care bye bye